that any better? Well, the wind is howling. Nothing I can do about that. Hopefully you can hear me. So on the forks on the tractor here are some stuff that I've had that I collected when I was probably 18 years old from a uh, old mill in a neighboring town that they were taking down. And I was able to basically walk away with this stuff in the night because <laughs> it all, all this was uh, long before people knew the value of this material and they, um, nowadays you can't get, you have to pay top dollar for recycled wood. And this is old growth southern yellow pine. Uh, so it's not from around here. Boy, I hope the wind isn't too, too bad. Anyways, I have uh, what I have in here are this was the stuff was was used for the roof, and this stuff was used for the flooring. All soaked in oil from the uh, I think they were shoe mills. Base came out of. Anyway, I'm going to try to make. I have enough to make a, a dining room table got some four inch thick, thick stuff also that I'm going to use for the legs but I'm going to try and take the nails out of this stuff and resaw it on the sawmill and this stuff here has got a twist in it I want to see if I can use the sawmill to flatten out one side and run it through the planer so that's what we're up against today and I know it's really windy but I'm going to try and film this anyway Hopefully, uh, it might be interesting.
hope you can see that. Um, so the sawmill actually flattened it out, took the twist out of it, and now I'll, uh, I'll run it through the planer and just clean it up just a little bit. I want to have all of this uh, knot holes and as much of the uh, much of its history left on the board. So I'm going to get set up and uh, clean the nails out of those and then we'll run some more. Don't want to hit those with the saw. I knew that there was a good chance that I would. How many nails did I hit? Ah, oh, it's beautiful stuff. I'm gonna have to just clean these nails off before I run it through the planer. I think it's gonna make a nice tabletop even though I have to sacrifice some uh, saw blades to get to this. All right, well I hit some nails, but that was to be expected. I actually made it through the whole pile. The only started to go crazy on the very last board when it was uh, all those big knots. But might not look like much now, but I think this is like gold. And this is gonna make an unbelievable table uh, for our dining room. So now that I've got a surface that's clean, I can, hopefully you can even hear me see the nails here i'll be able to spot the nails punch them through and then uh, run them through the planer without any nails so this was a i had to sacrifice a blade on the sawmill but that's not too bad only one blade all right i'm going to bring these down to the shop and uh, 
I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I'm not going to work on these. This was just to get... I had time today to get this done. So, uh, hold on. The rest of this video it will be coming up. All right, I'm bad. I forgot to film a bunch of stuff. But I'll give you the current update on the uh, tabletop, table build. So... Hopefully you can see that. That is the upside of the table. I re These are the boards I resawed, And I ran them through the planer. I hit a bunch of nails. And um, that's it. I decided to stop planing them at that thickness. And, and I think four boards. This is supposed to be a rustic table. And so I'm going to... The boards aren't going to be glued together. They're, I don't even think I'm going to uh, sand them. I'm just going to put a coat of poly on the top to help protect it. But I'm trying to make up, I'm starting to make up the um, parts of the legs and the skirting or whatever you want to call it. So this is the first piece that wraps around and it'll, there'll be an inch and a half um, set back there. And the the uh, leg, I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter. The leg is actually going to be notched in like a half an inch. And these will all be screwed in and plugged. And <clears throat> Kristen and I were talking about this uh, just about 10 minutes ago before she left. That I think I'm actually going to make this as so it doesn't come apart. Um, taking it apart is going to be a it adds another level of complexity to the table. And this is supposed to be a simple rustic table. Um, there's no glorification to any of this. The edges will be eased, uh, and it it's not going to be sanded and prettied up. So uh, I'm currently making the. Uh, yeah, the whatever you want to call it, these pieces, the stretchers. And then I'll uh, notch them into the post. I got to cut the post to length. And yeah, it's just going to be screwed and glued and screwed together. And I'm going to take it up to the, I'm going to flip it over once it's all um, assembled and uh, put a coat of urethane on the top, I think, just to help protect the surface. And then we're going to start using it. All right, that's what we're going for. Of course, these will all be tight and screwed together. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Of course, this is all going to be flipped over. But So I'm going to go get some... Uh, I think the next step is to 
cut the post to length and then start uh, cutting in the, sh the small shoulder in here so that the, yeah, so we get more bearing surface on the post. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut the other four, and I'm going to get ready to uh, put the shoulder cut on them. All right, I want you to ignore the sparks from coming from this because this blade has got a kink in it, but I just can't bother bring myself to throw it out quite yet. So there's every time the kink comes around, it hits the guides. And I love this saw, but the guides in here are terrible. And I keep saying I'm going to uh, replace them with ball bearings, but I just haven't got around to it. But I don't know, they, this is a good brand, but they're horrible guides. So let's cut these uh, shoulders. go that's what this is gonna look like uh, I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to uh, glue with Gorilla Glue and uh, screw these in with I'll countersink them and plug them so that's the next step I'm going to work on assembling all of this oh, actually before that I'm gonna break the edges on all of these parts with a block plane and I may go over it with a sander, we'll see. I'm trying to leave this as rustic as possible. I don't want to get rid of all the milling marks. Usually the projects I do, you want, you want to get rid of all the mill marks and uh, milling marks, the planer and the joiner and all that stuff and table saw. And I don't want to do that on this project. I want it to be, you know, if this table was made 200 years ago, they wouldn't have palm sanders. They would have probably uh, hand planed everything so you'd have planer marks, hand plane marks on it. But I'm not going to hand plane stuff. I'm not going to go to that extent. So I'm just chamfering the bottom slightly. We're gonna, uh, uh, I'm going to glue on some felt or something on the bottom so that they can slide around. I'm just doing this so that when the edges catch, they don't peel up. And that's what I'm gonna do all four legs and the stretchers and then start assembly. I'm using an old, container of Gorilla Glue and it doesn't like the pour so I had to take the lid off. So I'm just going to stick this right here. I'm probably only going to use a few screws in it.
that probably it. This old glue is so thick it doesn't you gotta just smooge it on with a stick. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see here. This little discrepancy, I'll uh, take the block, block plane and even that up so that the post sits nice. All right, I'll uh, do one more corner. And it's getting closer to being a table base. Oh, come on. That's pretty much it. I'm going to, um, you can see that I'm going to go get some other screws and screw down the top and then uh, cut a bunch of plugs and glue those in. And then I'm going to leave it <clears throat> uh, to dry all the, uh, all the Gorilla Glue and then I'll clean all that off. Probably do a light sanding on it and I'm going to put a coat of urethane on the top and that's pretty much it. It is just a simple rustic table. Uh, nothing special. All right, I'll go cut some plugs. I actually got to do this on the other end. And then I got to cut some plugs. Get some plugs put in those holes. Yeah, they're not glued together. It was just, uh, yeah, screwed down. It's kind of a no-no, but I don't care if they crack. It just adds to the uh, adds to the look. Oh, look! I just sawed through a nail here, and then there's a nail down there. I'm gonna leave those. Well, it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect, but I think it looks amazing. So I'm gonna cut a bunch of plugs now and glue those in.
Well, we've got the table up into the house and it weighs a ton and it's been months since I've actually put the finish on here because we were waiting for the floors to get sanded and polyed and give them plenty of time to dry. And as you see, the floor is down. It looks amazing. The guy did a great job. And I actually had help yesterday to help uh, lift this thing into the house. So there is our table, our dining room table, all done. It's not meant to be, uh, it's not meant to be perfect. It's supposed to be a rough country kind of, uh, kind of a look. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. It's nice and dark and uh, fits pretty well in the room. We're also starting to work in this room. I've got our coffee table. Uh, I made up a top for it out of that honey locust. And uh, we have ordered couches for in here. So that looks pretty good. And we started to talk about the design for the bookcase cabinets around the TV on that wall. So things are happening. Uh, things are getting done. All right, I've got to go clean horse stalls. Um, that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, there is more to come, so stick around.